Good evening, everyone. Um, thank you so much for being here and also joining us online. Um, I'm Amy Lee, and I'm a third year fellow at New World Symphony. Um, I'm so glad that you came out tonight to hear this evening's cello and percussion recital. The works featured on tonight's program are seldom heard by most audience, but I felt that you know, the textures and sound world these instruments create together are very interesting and deserve to be heard. So I'm happy that I 
get to share them with you tonight. Um, the piece you just heard is Get It by Jean Koshinsky. Um, this piece is actually written for bassoon. Um, the composer was asked to write a challenging concert piece that stems from the popular music medium in order to unleash this inner rock star. Um, I found an arrangement for cello, and I thought this piece was a perfect way to start tonight's concert. Um, I love percussion music. Sorry, I love percussion and percussion music. Um, sometimes I wonder if I miss my calling as a percussionist. Um, when I was four years old, I used to empty my mom's kitchen cupboard. Um, I would arrange the pots and pans in a half moon shape and I'll be standing in the middle of it and you know, just unleash chaos. <laughs> that, was, that was one of my favorite things to do. Um, so it is only fitting that I've put together a program of works for cello and percussion. Um, I even get to play a little kick drum in our next work, which is 21 by Andy Akiho. Um, this piece is rooted in traditional soca music from Trinidad. Um, the title 21 refers to 21st measures of the fugue movement in box, violin, G minor, solo sonata. Um, the harmonic chords in this bar are the inspiration for the sequence of notes that the composer uses. If the cello wasn't already hard enough, uh, I also have to play a kick drum with one foot and while operating a loop pedal with the other foot. Um, so it's like, you know, petting your head and rubbing your belly at the same time. Um, but wait until you see what Jenny does with a steel pen. Um, steel pen is an un uh, it's very uncommon instrument for percussionists and Jenny kindly agreed to learn it and she sounds incredible. Um, a small word of warning, uh, still pen can be quite loud, <laughs> and we won't be offended if you block your ears. <laughs> Please welcome Jenny to the stage.
I hope you enjoyed my debut performance as a percussionist. <laughs> um, for a complete change of character, um, the next piece is this beautiful and moving Mariel by Osvaldo Goliov. Mariel was a real person. Um, she was the wife of a very good childhood friend of the composer. Um, they were a beautiful couple and ended up having a baby together. And one day, the family was on a road trip in the south of Chile. Muriel was happily breastfeeding her baby as they drove. Moments later, there was an accident, and tra uh, tragically, she died um, while her husband and baby survived. The composer was stunned at how this young person could be laughing in one moment, but suddenly gone the next. What he wanted to do in this piece was to capture that instant moment before grief, that instant between life and death. 
you'll hear this constant pulsation throughout this piece. Um, each pulsation is one instant. And the accident happened in the south of Chile, where the trees are very tall. Um, the composer imagined the, uh, the refracted light that filters through the tree branches. I invite you to imagine the light behaving like particles and waves. Um, so marimba is like the particles and the cello is the wave. Marimba keeps pulsating throughout the piece while the cello plays this beautiful long and slow melody. The piece is not really necessary about Mariel's car accident, but rather the fragility of human life. For this performance, um, you'll see on the screen above me that I commissioned a dance from this talented choreographer and dancer, Miho Ishikawa. Hi, Miho, um, who is based in New York. I wanted to visually represent this sense of pulsation and flow. And Mio, along with her amazing videographer, Olga, did an incredible job of capturing the expression of this beautiful and moving work. And please welcome my colleague, Joe, on Marimba.
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this very moving piece as much as I did. Um, the last piece we're going to perform is Sunk Dance Dojirian by Etienne Pirchon. The inspiration for this piece is an imaginary country, country in Central Europe called the Gora that was conceived by the composer. This country serves as the scenery for five contrasting dances in five movements in which Pirchon explores the unusual and yet very colorful textures of the marimba, oh, sorry, mar <laughs> timpani and <laughs> the cello. Uh, my colleague Matt and I first performed this piece uh, maybe about two years ago at the height of the pandemic. And we recorded our performance for the virtual concert while our concert hall was still closed. Um, and you know, since then, we've always wanted to play for live audience, and we're really thrilled to share this with you tonight. Um, before this final piece, I just want you to thank our amazing New World percussionists, Joe, Ben, Jenny, and Matt for all their hard work. And of course, thanks to our incredible New World staff, Charlotte and Heather and all the production crew who helped me to put together this concert. There's so much that goes on behind the scene here, you know, from lighting to sound and staging. And we're really lucky to have such an incredible and supportive team. And of course, thank you so much again for coming out tonight. And I really hope you enjoyed the variety of styles and timbers that are possible when unlikely instruments get paired up to make music together. Thanks again, and I hope you enjoyed this little journey into the imaginary country of the Gora. Thank you.